Hello, I'm Jashikins, and welcome to another little vlog review. This time of the extant episode, Empathy for the Devil. Molly nearly kisses her son, and in fairness, she doesn't realize that that's her son, because remember, He's gone through an extreme fast aging process, so he's <laughs> he's much older than the little kid she remembers. So it's like, okay, I can understand it, but still, it's like that's she 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 must know. She sort of must no no she doesn't know. Uh, oh, sh they're going to no. But, hey, I can under, sort of understand, I mean, he does look hot, and she doesn't realize he's her son, so it's just like, okay, I can, I can understand why, but thank you for the kiss not actually having, thank you for being the almost there sort of kiss, like, oh, they were about to kiss, but they didn't, it's like, maybe that's the reason I'm just made disturbed. Don't you look up these things I ship, just... Um, the military decides the best course of action to kill this alien is to fire a drone and blow up the entire bar. Now, I can actually see, the, see why this works. Because remember, before they tried to send actual people in, and those people ended up what's usually referred to as dead. So it's like, okay, it's extreme, but at least no actual people will be mind-controlled. And I think some people were saying, oh, the, the drone could have just like hovered around and just waited until he was somewhere where no one else would get injured. And the military, I don't think, knows this, but we as audience know this, that the alien creature can, can control electronics. That's how it's able to disable the security cameras. So, you know, with that information, just sending in the drone like that and not giving the alien a second to really comprehend what was going on. That was that was smart. But the thing is, the military itself doesn't know it. So for the military, it doesn't really make sense. For us as viewers, it, it does make sense. Now, Lucy. Don't fall. Now, Lucy is this robot AI that this crazed woman is making it just like just make it really tough and badass and you know look it can make the hard decision of blowing up a school full of children if it's if, if it accomplishes the mission and they're like wait she didn't even bat an eye and this is why we can't have nice things folks this is exactly why. Because the original creator of the human act was like, We're, I'm going to give them a whole moral compass. So, you know, they don't start destroying shit. Because once you start moving things so fast of, let's not give them a moral compass anymore and let's just make sure that they can fight. It's like more important if you're giving something that powerful making that something that powerful that can think for itself and you're like what do moral algorithms it's like this is why shit like judgment day happens this is why robot apocalypses are so prevalent in fiction because you stupid people keep on repeating the same shit time after time after time and i'm just I, I mean, going to a more relationship standpoint, Lucy's, um, the one guy's 
fascination with Lucy and her sexiness is I think that's what made the one Julie, Julie the crazy bitch of <laughs> you can tell I don't like the character it made Julie like okay I'll fuck you and we'll be in a relationship because it's like you're not, I'm not going to have some robot whore have you <laughs> yeah it's but and now as a character herself, which even though I do write smut, even though I do write a lot of romance, and a lot of romance, smut and romance can be different. I just want to make sure you know I know the difference. Is that, you know, each character is their own thing. That, I think that's why I can multi-ship, because I'm like, I can see each character as their own. They're not... Even if it seems like they're destined and soulmates, they can still be with other people because, or without them, because they're their own strong character. And so, getting back to Lucy, I think I would like her to turn out to be evil. Just because if you're going to going to make a robot with not as moral as Ethan was made out to be. You sort of deserve someone punching you in the dick. Or cunt. Or ass. It's like, if you're going to be that stupid, it's just like, what do you think's going to happen? Plus, evil robots can be awesome if they have a nice backstory to them. And besides that, just, I'm a Terminator fan, and I like to see evil robots. <laughs> I'm highly biased in that regard. And my final thoughts on the extant episode, Empathy for the Devil. I liked it. It added more Lucy's evolving. You can see that she's now able to disregard orders. Which isn't going to, which if, you know, Lucy turns out to be evil, not going to be too good because it's like, fuck you and your orders. And then Ethan's memory is sort of coming back bits and pieces. Because, yeah, truly, just erasing his memory, that's going to work out great. That might start to drive him insane. I mean, even if it, the memory erasing didn't perfectly work, that's just fucking cruel. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to comment or question about anything I mentioned about the extant episode, Empathy for the Devil, in this vlog, please do so down below, comment below. And if you want to comment or question me about anything I didn't mention in this vlog about the extant episode, Empathy for the Devil, please comment below. I'd love to ha start a conversation with you. And... Yeah, I have been Jashikins, owner at jashikins.blogspot.com. And if you go there, you can see more vlogs like this. Wonderful. Uh, I finally got the next episode of Zone 91 up. It was sort of gone out quick because, yeah, it's been a while since that last episode. I just think of the podcast is cursed. <laughs> and this episode, I review... Animorphs number two, The Visitor, and I, and a non-Animorphs fan reviews it with me, but he's a good friend, so I just, I chose him because I'm like, I'm, he's one of those friends that I can just say, hey, do this, and they're like, okay. Uh, and if you go on my blog on the sidebar thingy, you can see where else I am on the web, and, you know, click on there and say hi, and the dragon has been named, and... The person named him Jockerly77 has a good YouTube channel, and I'm co-host on one of his podcasts, and it's he's a good guy, and we text throughout the week. And you can get to his YouTube channel via just, you know, clicking the link on, clicking his username below the dragon end. For that. And if you are watching this vlog and you have been a fan of my blog for, you know, a little bit, you like things I do, the Amorous reread, and 
multi-vlog reviews, even my podcasts. Um, there are some donation options on my blog. There's a PayPal donation link. Uh, there's the Cafe Press. I have a Cafe Press shop. And I have a Fiverr account where I take writing commissions. Like, if you want a nice little uh, Evil Lucy fanfic and you want to commission me to write one of those for you, you know, I just go to my Fiverr account and I will be more than willing to do that. And if you're watching this on my blog, if you click on the Ryan Shop link on my sidebar, then you, you'll get to it. And if you're watching this on the YouTubes, there is a link in the description to my Fiverr account. And just be aware there's a little bit of a wait, but I will be getting to you as fast as possible. And until next video. Goodbye.